if you watched my last video and it pissed you off, I got a little bit emotional. I whipped out the Army Ethos card, Warrior Ethos card, whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, I just want to drop you guys some knowledge. You know, this is my Veterans card. That scar I showed you in the last video. I can't get it out. Okay, now I can get it out. This is my veterans card. This is my cat card. As a vet, these two things mean a lot. I learned the right to call myself a vet. There are vets now that are in deep shit. There are soldiers now that are in deeper shit. And we have a president who's at fault. We have a president that for some asinine reason think that it's okay to take soldiers out of the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and Marines. Probably not so much the Coast Guard, but he wants to remove them out of the military because they're um, transgender. So yeah, I'm about to support this transgender stuff so they, they don't have to leave the military because that's where they want to be. Most people don't volunteer to be soldiers. It takes a special person to want to be a soldier. It takes a special person to want to suit up in that PC, that mick, that flick, that 300 pound rucksack on their back and march that long mile to honor to make damn sure that all of us in the civilian world can sleep at night, get up and go to work, run your business, smile, hug your wife, kiss your kids, play with them. Because I know, and everybody who's been in the military knows, that there are brave men and women out there serving this country and busting their ass, doing whatever their orders command them to do so that we get those luxuries that I just mentioned. And I said luxuries, privileges, not rights. Healthcare is a right, not a privilege. Protecting this country is a privilege. And it is an honor to call myself a vet. Now, I didn't get to serve the way I wanted to serve. That's apparent. I've let you guys know that a thousand times. And if I could go back and do it all over again, fuck yeah. I would have loved to have been able to do it at 18 years old. I would love to have been able to retire from the military. Unfortunately, there's so many difficulties of getting in that I didn't make it in until 37, and then I got fucked up. I don't regret it. I regret the aftermath with this hip. I regret the 260 a month, which actually beats a zero. I should have more than that because I can't get arrested getting a fucking job, so I can't afford health care. You know, kind of in that proverbial rock and a hard place. I can't train the way I want because of my head fear that I may fuck it up. And that's not an option, you know. But to sit back this morning and play back, read the press, and how President Trump has gone through the ringer of attacking other soldiers because they're transgender has hurt my feelings on a cellular level. No, I'm not transgender. I'm not a man who wants to be a woman. I'm not a woman who wants to be a man. But I am a soldier. And from that point of view, I have to take a stand with them. Because not everyone who's a so-called badass is out here risking their lives to make sure that you sleep at night. That you can roll over and kiss your wife and play with your children and make love to people and smoke cigarettes and drink beer. There's soldiers out here that's doing that for you. They're out here putting their lives every hour, every second of the day on the line. And we got three enemies. Three. Each ni son, for you who speak Japanese, that's as far as I can count. Uno, dos, tres, for those who speak Spanish, that's, again, as far as I can count. And one, two, three, for those who speak English. We have ISIS. We have the Taliban. And now we're tipping the scales on North Korea. Because North Korea, for some reason, decided to get a raw hair up in Jong Il's ass and decided, hey, let's go fuck with America. Uh, let me point out to you, uh, Kim Jong Un, 
we weren't involved in World War II until they woke us up with Pearl Harbor. So, you know, as much tension as we had with you, we didn't have any tension with you until you decided to test the waters. I can't tell you you're doing a great thing, but you're not, because, you know, some of your Korean relatives and stuff live here. Some people of Korea live here, born here, who have done nothing to your country, and you want to attack us. Okay, we get to wear blue jeans. Don't know if you guys get to do that. I don't even like blue jeans, but I own a pair. <laughs> don't know where they are, because I don't wear them, but, you know. Where in the fuck does the president get off? Telling a soldier, a healthy soldier, he or she no longer has the right to serve in the military because they're gay or because they're transgender. I hate to be the one to break it down to you, um, Donald Trump, but the health care for soldiers doesn't really um, cover sex change. You know, when I was a soldier, this is what they told me we cover. We have your eyes, your ears, and your mouth, and everything internal. Now, now, I don't know if they can flip the inside of a vagina and turn it into a penis. I don't know if they can do that. I don't care, because I like my penis the way it is. I don't know if they can give me boobs, but I'm okay being flat chested because I'm fat in the gut and I can work my way out, you know, because I do need to exercise. I need to get back into military shape because there's in shape and then there's military shape. I'm sure this fat ass bastard does not know what the fuck military shape is because when I joined the military as a martial artist, I thought that I was in great shape. I was in slightly fair shape. I was not in great shape, but in three months, I was in great shape, and then by the end of my five months and getting fucked up, I was in great cardiovascular shape and size, you know, and we found out, hey, James, you need a new hip, no longer in great shape, now I can't even work out, I can walk, you know, I can do push-ups, I can't do Russian twisters, I can't do anything that bends the hip over a certain amount of degrees. And above all else, Kung Fu is out. And unfortunately, that's what this channel was supposed to be about me doing Kung Fu. Now back to the subject at hand. This red-headed ginger is removing soldiers from the military when we have three enemies. Again, we have ISIS. We have the Taliban, which is basically a small or big cell of ISIS because I think they were together at one time and I'm not really sure how that worked out. You guys have to go back and check this stuff. And then we have North Korea with Kim Jong-un, the dictator from hell. Now, I'm not a general. I was a private. First class. Fuzzy. Now, I fail to understand the point of taking soldiers out of the military when you have three enemies, which, if you do this... You deflate our chances of actually surviving a fight, a war, combat. I can almost guarantee you that the soldiers in Afghanistan are thinking to themselves, if one-fifth of our platoon or our squad is transgender, and we have to ship them out tonight, and an attack happens tomorrow, we're fucked. And the worst part of that is that maybe that one-fifth of them were probably all the guys with the great shot and the best aim. Now what? You guys don't like me. It's cool. You guys don't understand what I'm saying. It's cool. You're not supposed to because you're not a veteran. You have no fucking idea the shit that he's about to unleash by fucking us over this way. But for those veterans that do understand me, that do or don't like me, but understand me, because that's the most important thing, as long as you understand where I'm coming from, your life is out there to protect mine and every other civilian out there. I can never truly be a civilian again after being in the army. It doesn't register anymore because I will always think like a soldier until the day I breathe my last breath. But for this guy who's never served, his family hasn't served, he, he served the, the, the almighty dollar. He is not thinking of the long picture of the fact that down the barrel of this rifle is the enemy. Sometimes a muzzle thump has to happen 
Sometimes a bullet has to discharge from that rifle. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. To take away a fourth of any soldier's platoon because of their gender or their gender identity issues is a really, really, really big fucking mistake. I pray for you guys. And I hope the soldiers that he is trying to remove are okay. I hope the soldiers that are staying and having to fight because we don't have a choice. It's our job. I hope you guys are okay. I pray that God takes care of you and that we see you all in one piece. And for the transgender soldiers, I pray for you guys that somehow or another this shit backfires on this bastard so that you don't have to give up your job, so that you don't have to give up your life as a soldier because it's being a soldier, and I will say this proudly and I mean it with every fiber of my being, being a soldier is probably the best fucking thing that has ever happened to me. Being a soldier is probably the best thing that I have ever done. Even if I didn't get to complete it the way I wanted to complete it because of my hip, my inability to shoot an M4. But I never wanted to come home because I found my home right there in Delta at Fort Benning, Georgia. If I was healthy enough to go back, if I was young enough to go back, oh fuck yeah, go back. But only if I could get my platoon that I had when I was down there. With my boy Radley, with my drill sergeant Haynes, and my drill sergeant Almberg, and my drill sergeant Aztec Warrior, only because I can't remember your damn name. I'll call you Aztec Warrior before I knew your name, and now I forgot your name, so it's Aztec Warrior again. And if I had to go back to De Bravo, as long as I didn't have Joe Sergeant Stoltz, but I had Joe Sergeant White and Joe Sergeant Robbins, I'd be good. You know, because Stoltz is the only one that hated my guts. And proved it over and over and over and over again. Well, congratulations. I was severely hurt. I was not a bitch. I just showed the scar in the other video. So if you're watching, Stoltz, I didn't quit. I didn't want to quit. I'm not a bitch. I'm not a pussy. But it was my hip. It fucked me up for the rest of my life. So unlike you, Mr. Marine, I didn't want to quit like you thought I did. I wasn't willing to go home. But thanks to this shit, I had to go home. I'm sorry, I got a little personal there. Because he was a Marine. But he came into the Army. And I'm going to be Army for life. He gets to be both. No hard feelings. I forgive you. You don't have to forgive me, and I don't give a fuck. I didn't want to quit. And then I also didn't know how seriously injured I was. And apparently neither did the damn doctors at Fort Benning, Georgia. But thank you to the McGuire Institute in Richmond because they caught this bitch before I was completely permanently disabled for life. Now, as I was saying, our God-given rights that we have as Americans come with a price. Soldiers pay that price. Every time they put on these dog tags in their uniform, every time they take a breath, and rather they are soldiers in the kitchen or soldiers on the field, that does not make them no less a motherfucking soldier. I'm a vet, proud, wishing that I never left the army. If I knew then what I know now, if I could have just not fell in that fucking hole, I wouldn't be making this conversation. Because my dumb ass would have been active first, and as an infantry soldier, I wouldn't have been coming home. Not because I'd be dead, but, you know, I belonged there. I want to stay there. I ain't want no rank. I ain't want no special skills and all that shit. But I found a home in the army. And I want to thank the army for that. Before I get off this video, I want to thank Delta Company. I want to thank Joe Sergeant Stoner from up the street for recruiting me. I want to thank Sergeant Decker. He died not too long after I came home. And bless his family. I want to thank these men for giving me the courage to believe in myself and to be more than I could be. To go into the Army at 37 was a test. Among tests, trust me on that. Worth it. Totally fucking worth it. But I would recommend this to everyone else. If you're going into the military, go in your 20s. Don't go when you hit Army retirement age like I did. Now, I don't want to thank my ex-girlfriend for breaking my heart and forcing my hand, but I was trying to go into the military before she came along. And I probably could have made it then, but she got the kind of crying and it kind of changed everything. 
and hell, she wanted to go too, but, you know, shit happens. So things work the way they work because God makes them work. If you're not a believer of God, then just ignore that last statement, but I believe in God. And I believe that somewhere along the line, God's going to do right by these transgender soldiers because Donald Trump's an asshat, and he has no right running a country, especially if he wants to take soldiers out of a war when we're about to have three countries attacking us, three isolated incidences of three ragtag cells that think they're the shit. Technically, Korea is not a cell. North Korea is actually a country, but cells, ISIS, and Taliban, they want our asses on a plate. Shit and all. And this douchebag that you guys voted for, the red-headed ginger asshat, he wants to take soldiers out of the army just for the simple fact that they're transgender. Not because they're retarded or mental or decapitated or anything other than the fact that they don't know what they want to be. But you're wrong. Because no matter what their gender is, they are exactly what they want it to be. They are soldiers. And they deserve fucking respect. They deserve the honor that it takes to put on these fucking dog tags every day. To take a breath and pray that they get to come home every night to their platoon brother and sister. And regardless of whether they're dancing around in dresses and are men, regardless of whether they're dancing around in army pants and they're women, who want to take away their boobs and become men. Let me tell you something. A soldier does not have a fucking gender. A soldier does not have a race or an ethnic background. A soldier has one coal and one color. Protect and serve old glory and all that she stands for. And we are all green. Unless you're in the Navy, then you're all blue. But if you're in the Army, the Air Force, or the Marines, your ass is green. And we only have friendly rivalries with other military fractions. I think the Coast Guard's blue too. But if you're in the Army, you're damn sure green. It's the only color that they tell us we are from the time we walk off that bus at Fort Benning, Georgia, and to the time we are assigned, and to the time we come home with honorable discharges, we are green. We are mean, we are green, one shot, one kill, we will, and if you signed your name and took that oath of service to serve and protect, excuse me, against foreign and domestic terrorists, you deserve to be there because you did everything you need to do. You take the oath, you went through the training, you got your assignments, you have earned your spot. I only earned half of mine, but I'm just as much a soldier as you are, and I will fight for soldiers, regardless of transgender, regardless of if they hated my guts. You're a fucking soldier. You signed up your life to this country to live and die so that I can live and die free. It's what we do. Once a soldier, always a soldier. I'm a broke dick, but I'm still a fucking soldier to the end. I'm a nasty girl for life because I was in the National Guard. Army. Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, we salute you. That's a Kung Fu salute, and here's a military one. Kung Fu Havoc supports its military soldiers. I don't have any money to donate, but we still support you because I was a fucking soldier. Still a soldier in the heart, if not in the body. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you. And impeach Trump before he fucks us all over. Or let us get destroyed by Korea because he's executing soldiers that are transgender. Or excavating soldiers, getting them triaged out. Bastard. I'm James Williams, Jr. Come family number two, BC and you.